the the art of letting go and why it's so difficult and why we hold on to things so hard and just even with doing this video i'm finding that there's some difficulty because i'm worried about the outcome when we're holding on to limiting beliefs or, or what we want. We're holding on to that person we want, that job we want, that house we want, that career, that abundance that we want. We struggle to letting it go because we don't think that we're going to get it. That we are mistrusting the universe because the universe is on our side. It's willing to give us whatever we want. But when we hold on to the attachment of what we believe that the outcome is going to be, then there is no way that we're going to be able to receive it because we're closed off. That energy that we feel because it's like, oh, we're holding on. If we let go, it's not, we're not working hard enough towards it is the problem. And if we find that, if we just are open and that we are free to receive that more abundance will come in are we attached to the label are we attached to the beliefs are we attached to that person the things that are not serving us and and that energy of resistance is often heard by the universe and it's not going to give us what we want and that's the lie that we're telling us that we believe that if we don't hold on tight, that we are not going to be able to get what we want. So the art of letting go, it's actually kind of easy, but we put the difficulty in it because we are looking at what the outcome is going to be. Now, I'll give you an example. I have done a lot of fashion shows over the years and I used to do this event in New Jersey. It was called the Black Men's Magazine and they would have uh, a big fashion show and they, I was often a vendor for the event. And the events would happen a couple times a year and they would have a model of the year for men and women and I would set up my table outside of the venue and I was fascinated with all the different people that were coming in and celebrities and models and I found out that a lot of the models were doing a Rip the Runway. BET, uh, Black Entertainment Television, does an event called Rip the Runway. It was exciting and I really wanted to be a part of it after hearing so many people that had done the event. And so I started to like ask everyone if they knew someone that was on the team, if they, if one of the models knew when the next um, casting call was going to be. I was in Massachusetts, but I was frequently going back and forth to New Jersey and to New York and trying to like ask anyone and, and, I, and I had gotten a little bit of a lead here and this one knew so-and-so and this one had been behind the scenes, but it really didn't pan out. And it, was, it wasn't until really I had let that energy go about holding on to the, the fact that I really wanted to do it and have an opportunity to be a part of the event that the funny thing that ended up happening was one holiday weekend i was doing that event at the black men's magazine and i had all my jewelry laid out on a table and i had this really pretty butterfly necklace that i had put right in the front that i had designed for a photo shoot that i was going to be doing later on that evening and unbeknownst to me a woman comes up to the table and says I love this necklace. I love butterflies. It's one of my favorite animals. And she then proceeded to tell me that she was one of the producers for the show, Rip the Runway. <laughs> and I had to like laugh to myself because once I had let go of the idea of holding on to be a part of the event, you don't actually know how the universe is going to answer you but all of a sudden she just actually just walked up to the table and it was just it was it had to make it made me laugh and it also was a good indication of how to just let it be what what you want and what you're holding on to you're causing that resistance and that inner turmoil because 
in your mind, you think that holding on is going to make you happy. And that if you're holding on so tight, then it's not going to allow what you want to come in. And so here it is, I'm standing at the table and this woman just comes right in. And lo and behold, I got an opportunity to be a part of Rip the Runway. And my jewelry was featured with the designer Kato from Project Runway. And I was very excited to meet other people that were inspiring artists and also other celebrities that participated in the event. So the key here is to trust your instinct when you're holding on to something that you really want to allow it to tell the universe that that is what you want, that you let the idea of holding on to the outcome go, and then you could be open to receive what you really want, whether it's that relationship you want, possibly a career that you would like, anything that brings you happiness has to not be full of holding on with stagnant energy. So the key here is to just release, let it go and be free of the attachment and the outcome and you'll be more able to get things that are more abundant in your life. You will be able to receive what is meant for you. Thank you, my name is Kendall Smiley and thank you for listening to The Collective Chat.